Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something gets hard, you quit. You call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I got to go home, I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die. At the end of pain is success. You're not gonna die because you feel a little pain. I'm not eating like I eat at home. That's why you're about to go through the next level because if you keep eating like you ate at home, you're gonna keep being a boy or a girl. It's time to become man, woman. Here's what I want you to repeat out to me, please, with power and conviction. Say, it's possible. That's all I want you to do when you look at your dream. Just say to yourself every day, it's possible. Just say that every day to yourself, it's possible. Because what does that do? See, it begins to change your belief system. I look at the world. See, the way in which we operate, ladies and gentlemen, it's a manifestation of what we believe, what's possible for us. Whatever you've done up to this point, all that it really is, is a duplication, it's a reproduction of what you believe subconsciously that you deserve and what's possible for your life. Most people operate out of their personal history, out of their memory. Things they've done, things they've experienced, things they've seen, things that they have observed. What I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience it. Having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. My name is Mario Napper. Um, I've been fighting MMA since about last year, October. And so far it's been pretty fun for me, a great experience. I wouldn't have it no other way. And um, the guy next to me, I got respect for, mad respect for. I've seen him in the cage a lot. And um, I know he's well known, you know. So uh, when I got the opportunity to fight him, you know, uh, I thought it was a great, great, great thing, you know. And um, he got so much experience, it's crazy. But, you know, I just want to get in there, have fun, and see what it leads to. Okay, what about you? Uh, yeah, I'm Jeremy Brown, uh, record 10 and 10. I've been around for a while. Um, thanks a lot, Mario, for the accolades you give me. Uh, been watching you uh, move up the ranks. i uh, been taking out your opponents. Uh, fought. We have a mutual opponent, Mike Junk. Uh, did very well against him, you did, and uh, mad respect for that. So uh, I was at uh, Ty Brown's gym uh, Saturday. Uh, I think it was the 4th, May 4th, and uh, told him I wanted to fight, and uh, he threw out a couple names, yours was one, and I said, uh, you know, let's do it. And uh, then I left and uh, got a message saying that uh, Mario Napper versus Jeremy Brown. And uh, so it was official at that point. And uh, June 8th, uh, all I gotta say is uh, Elkhart, Indiana, you better be there, you better watch it, and uh, don't blink, it's gonna be fun. Uh, hit him up for some tickets, hit me up for some tickets. Uh, we'll be happy and glad to uh, hook you guys up, and I guarantee you will not miss a good show. Shout out to uh, my team members, my gym, Next Level MMA, 
uh, do it all automotive, can be trucking out of uh, White Pigeon. Um, shout outs to Team Relentless. Um, they've been there for me since day one. Um, Ty Brown, you know, they look out for me at the um, NFL. Can't forget um, Scott Penrod, Chris, you know, um, Stan too for making this all happen, you know, and um, Jeremy Brown for being there and taking this fight. Yes. Mm -hmm.